And then recently, I know. Uh, Charlotte Flair said one of the mountains she wants to climb is you. She wants to wrestle you. I think I saw that after you win your championship back at hard to kill on January 13th against Jordan Grace in Atlanta, Georgia, bring your belt to Royal Rumble, take Charlotte Flair's SmackDown belt, win that and bring it back to impact wrestling. I think that's what we need in this world. People talk about forbidden doors all day long, but let's talk about the Mickey James door. Cause yeah, kicking it down, taking Charlotte Flair's belt. <laughs> Could we see this? I guess, you know, last year, uh, I would have told you absolutely not. We can't see that. But this year I go, well, anything is possible, right? Like it took a lot of magic to make that Royal Rumble happen. And the fact that it was, I mean, it was so special. Man, I still get chill bumps every time I watch that entrance and I'm fighting with my jacket because it got stuck or and I forgot to turn around to show the back in it because it was so awesome. And you um, had the belt too and they said I, impact well, wrestling. It, That's what it's was like, great. And it was multi-layered of reactions. It was like the, oh my God, it's hardcore country. Oh my God, she's it's Mickey James. Right. Oh my God, she's got the belt. And then when I held it up, it was like multi-layered reactions and i just go like god it was so perfect it was so amazing and it would be hard to recreate it'd be hard to top in that sense the only way to top it would be to win the royal rumble and then maybe go on and challenge charlotte flair title versus title whatever the case may be um i'm really honored that she would say that i've obviously said a lot of times that the one of the only people that I never really got to aside from in the rumble stand across the ring from um, was Charlotte Flair. My whole time there, we were always I got moved to Raw. She went to SmackDown, mm. you know, and I was aligned with Alexa a lot. And the thing is, I didn't have a lot of singles, actually, um, stories or a single run really at all at WWE when I was there because I was partnered with Alexa and I had a blast so fun still had wrestlemania moments and you know her versus naya and i was out there and different things um but i still i guess hungered and wanted that one final mickey james wwe moment on wwe television you know and i always wanted to be able to present hardcore country to the wwe audience because it was something that they had never seen and i thought that it was something that you know, it got over huge when I first when we first did it in T TNA at the time, Impact Wrestling, um, and the fans really got behind it. It really resonated with a lot of a lot of people, especially Middle America. You know, like there's a lot of us that are just down home, good people that have strong family ties and strong family roots, regardless of of color or gender or ethnicity or any of that. We are all, you know, we all have had to work really hard to get what we want. And so we appreciate that. And it felt like it was a representation of that. And, um, plus Mickey James, hardcore country is a badass. And it was just like, I really wanted to show her to the WWE audience and I never had the opportunity and then unfolded this Royal rumble opportunity where I literally ha got to do it all in one moment. And it was so special and I still like get emotional about it. And it was so special. And it was just, I'm still grateful for that. And it opened up doors for like a Cody Rhodes to come back, which people didn't expect and to be the American nightmare. Like there's different things. And now the the opportunities of what could happen at this year's Royal Rumble or moving forward on to wrestling, the options are endless because now you know that that door has been opened, you know, for other talent and for cross cross promotion kind of stuff. And that's really exciting. And it's exciting for wrestling fans and, you know, to be the one to kind of kick that door open and to do it as a woman um, and to showcase the impact knockouts world championship um, on WWE television and have that put over and, and go in as the champion, you know, uh, there were a lot of boxes that people go like, oh, they're never going to happen. I mean, I think most people thought like, oh, she's going to come out to her Mickey James music. She's going to wear the bell bottoms and, mm. you know, whatever. Yeah. And none of that. It happened just the way I prayed about it. <laughs> and we all hoped and it, and it came off and it like got the reaction. And my biggest fear was that I was going to go out there and it was going to be crickets and nobody yeah. was going to know who hardcore country was. And it was going to be, that was like in my heart. I'm like, I'm not saying a word until this thing is over because I am not jinxing myself. Cause what if I go out there, they go hardcore country and it's beep, beep, 
Uh, no, 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 it no, would never. No, I know no. it wouldn't happen. But at the same time, like these you, are the right. things that flood into your brain, into your right. mind, you know?